Hey, hey, this is Lacey, your Las Vegas gal, and I'm here with my team member, Battleborn Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, how's it going? Good. I think we need to scoot yep. a little further okay. away. Yep. Okay. Keep the pillow between Thank us. You. We're socially distancing. We are um, having a good time, but today we actually thought it might be fun to bring you to one of our favorite vintage Las Vegas neighborhoods. Steve and I share an affinity for the vintage vibes of Las Vegas because he's Battleborn Steve for a reason. You were born here. I was born in Vegas. Born yeah. in Vegas five years ago, ten years ago. I mean, Hot sometimes minute. yeah, you maybe kind like, of yeah. My, I feel like my soul's really old. My soul's the vintage mm -hmm. part, but, but uh, your actions on the outside, are like twelve years yeah. old. So no, I'm just kidding. Thank Steve's you. actually amazing. He actually helps our team do a lot of our video editing, and he's also a realtor himself. So if you're looking to buy a house from a really cool guy who was actually born in Vegas, Steve's your guy. Pretty cool. Um, we're gonna put the link to his channel actually in the um, in the description below so be sure to follow him and show him some love We're just starting his channel getting it built up a little bit. So we'd love the support So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk you through one of our favorite neighborhoods in Las Vegas This is McNeil Estates, right? Yep. Can you talk a little bit about McNeil Estates? I know you've been a massive fan of this for a long time Yeah, I mean I had friends that lived here growing up um, when I was in high school and stuff But basically it's an area that's really close to the strip like the arts district in Las Vegas, yeah. which is awesome yeah. um, It's only it, it if you're looking at a map and you're looking at actual streets, it goes from Rancho on the east side up to Cashman on the west side, mm -hmm. and then from Oki to Charleston, yeah. that's north to south. And even the areas that surround it are mm -hmm. pretty amazing. You've got the Scotch 80s, and even McNeil in itself, besides just McNeil at States, is yeah. pretty broad. So. Um, so Steve and I are gonna walk you through the house. Do me a favor, stay tuned till the end of the video. We're gonna talk a little bit more. We'll give you all the deets, but uh, check it out. <laughs> Actually, my favorite part is this fireplace right here. Yeah, the fireplace is pretty legit. And, the, and in these homes, most of these homes in this area were built in the mid-50s. So this one was actually built in 1958. A little over 2,200 square feet, almost 2,300 actually. But the coolest part about this house, in my opinion, is they fit five bedrooms in this in this ma like massive spread. Yeah, it's, it's ranch style, so yeah. it's elongated. Which so is it's like awesome. the house is in the middle, the, then the bedrooms are on the side. And what I also think is really cool is it's over 10,000 square foot lot. So if you've contacted us before and you've told me or told Steve or anybody else on our team that you wanted a really big lot with lots of privacy, we might have um, chuckled and said, we'll do our best, but it's kind of tough to come by. Yeah. This, this makes it so. And um, it's what's really awesome is the backyard. They've got the two sheds set up. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. So these vintage homes kind of fill my heart a little bit. They make me fall in love with Vegas all over again. Steve's been good. He's actually educated me a little bit more on some of the neighborhoods I didn't even know about. Because believe it or not, I may be Las Vegas gal, but I don't know everything. She's more like Henderson gal. No, I am not. I am Las Vegas gal, <laughs> damn it. But um, anyway, so thank you, Steve, for coming with me today and for social distancing. I don't want to catch your cooties. but. No, um, Help, let us know below if you could just uh, comment below. Let us know what you think of this house, and uh, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to be sure to subscribe to my man here, and uh, we'll talk to you next time, huh? See ya.